everyone! Session border controllers are a function-rich device and can have hundreds of configuration parameters. This is why it is imperative for an SVC graphical user interface to be as intuitive as possible. The new AudioCodes web GUI, released on version 7.2, introduces a new user experience for SVC configuration. The new GUI key features are a what you see is what you get GUI network map view, guided walkthrough configuration flow, clear visual cues of configuration errors, search tool for quickly finding parameters and values, and a new fresh and modern graphical design. The main screen is a network topology view, which shows the SBC and all its peers. In this example, you see that the SBC is connected on the WAN side to a SIP trunk, and on the LAN side to a PBX. Configuring the SBC is done directly on the network topology view. For example, to connect a new SIP trunk to the SBC, I click the plus sign. An IP group dialog, which represents a SIP trunk, opens up. Creating a SIP trunk involves the configuration of several related SBC entities. An example of a related entity would be an IP profile. It contains a set of SIP trunk attributes that tell the SBC how to handle the SIP trunk. Let's say I need to set up a new IP profile for my new SIP trunk. The GUI guides me through this process. I add a new IP profile by going into the IP profile table. Notice that as I move to the IP profile table, the IP group dialog is minimized, so I can easily return to it later to complete the configuration. After I finish adding the new IP profile, I return to my IP group dialog and finish my configuration. To confirm the changes, I just have to click apply to set the new SIP trunk. The GUI also provides visual cues for configuration errors. On the left hand side of the screen, there is a configuration tree. The configuration tree is an alternate way to the network topology map for configuring the SBC. Experienced users may find it quicker to use the configuration tree for specific configuration tasks. On the top bar of the GUI, we see the three main GUI functions, setup, which we just reviewed, monitor, and troubleshoot. The monitor screen provides general information about the SBC, such as IP address, firmware, and device serial number. An image of the device with the status of the various device ports, fans, and power supply is also available to see. At the bottom of the screen, various statistics regarding the calls that are taking place on the SBC are displayed. The search tool is a handy way to find configuration parameters or parameter values on the GUI. Let's say we want to see all the settings which relate to the Verizon SIP trunk that we just set. As you see, we get a list that directs me to multiple table rows whose key name is Verizon. The new GUI has many more features designed to enhance user experience. Feel free to try it and let us know what you think.